It's the longest running show on Broadway, the first Broadway show to ever surpass 10,000 performances. And after 10 years, the brand new production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's A Phantom of the Opera has made its return to the Shea stage. We're standing by with Lisa Grisanti. You are the marketing and communications manager here at Shea's, and you're all dressed up for the first <laughs> day that tickets are on sale. Tell me what we're seeing behind you. Well, right now, uh, Phantom of the Opera went on sale this morning at 8 a.m., and uh, behind us, we have some of the uh, original costume designs from the original production, and they are on display here at the box office to mark the, the on sale of the Phantom of the Opera coming to Shays March 18th through the 29th, so please come and get your tickets. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the production and the costumes behind us in our second live hit, but for okay. people that haven't seen Phantom, I, there's a lot of people that love it. What do they love about this show? What is this show about? Well, the show uh, is, uh, and it's and still, this is the, the new production of Phantom, but it's the same story. Um, it's fresh, some fresh scenic design. Um, the chandelier still falls. Um, and, and again, the same story, the masked uh, figure, uh, the Phantom, who lurks um, in the Paris Opera House and falls madly in love with the young soprano, Christine, and, and just devotes himself to making her um, the, the, the star of the production and, and bringing out her extraordinary talents. There is drama, there is excitement, there is love. It's definitely a show that has something for everyone and that's the reason why you've opened this morning two hours early to accommodate the people that want to get these tickets right away. Yes, come on down. Um, we have sold a lot of tickets already. Um, there's still tickets available. The show runs two weeks. Uh, but we're uh, urging people to please come down and get your tickets. Uh, we start online sales at 10 a.m. Um, if you're purchasing for a Christmas gift, don't wait. Uh, come, you know, come on down today uh, or go online. And this is a great lesson when buying a ticket here at Chase because you have such a big subscription base that when a show goes on sale, a lot of the tickets are already taken. Yes, we, uh, we have a very large subscription base, um, one of the largest one-week subscription bases in the country. This year is a record year for us. We have approximately 13,700 season tickets sold. So by the time the show goes on sale to the public, all those season ticket holders already have their seats. That's one of the advantages to being a season ticket holder. You get your seat first and you're able to purchase you know as early as March when we announce our season um, but again there are still tickets available but we urge people to get them sooner than later all right thank you so much for joining us live this morning Lisa we'll be back with you in just a little bit to talk a little bit more about what the term new when we say production means and your experience seeing in Boston but right now we're gonna send it back to the studio to Lauren all right thank you so much it is the musical that has captured audiences' attention since the 80s, a story of a masked man, a young ingenue, and a theater captured by mystery. And now tickets are on sale right here at Shea's Performing Arts Center. We're here with the Director of Marketing and Public Relations, Lisa Grisanti. Now, Lisa, not only is this an amazing story, but it's a spectacle of a show. And we're standing in front of a few examples of just how big this show is. Yes, right now we uh, have, have on display some of the original uh, costume piece, pieces in the original production. Uh, the designer Maria, Tony Award winning uh, designer Maria Warrenson, her original costume designs. And there are 1,200 costume pieces used during the show. And they're on display right here at the Shays box office. So if you're coming in to buy tickets, you can take a peek. There's a nice fact sheet right next to the costumes with a little bit more information. But Lisa, when we're talking about this show, a lot of people are hearing the word new, new yeah. production of the Phantom of the Opera. And that might have them a little bit worried. But Lisa, you saw the original production, and then you've seen this new production in Boston. What can you say about the difference between the two? Or is there really any difference? Well, first I want to say not to worry. <laughs> uh, this is um, a, a new production of uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera. Uh, there is some new scenic design, some new reinvented staging, but it is the same story, the same music, the chandelier still falls. Um, now, when I, I did see the uh, production on Broadway in the 80s, and like you said, I did see the show in Boston when the tour op opened. And the only difference that I can see is it, the, the show seemed a little more colorful to me, um, but that is like the only difference that I felt 
I, I, I and I also really felt, and I think I felt this way in the in the original production. Is like I felt like a part of the production, like I was actually in the Paris Opera House. So it's very the, with the music and the story and the the scenic design. You really do come become immersed um, in the production, very mesmerizing. So I remember being memori mesmerized during the first production, and still felt the same way when I just saw it in Boston. And that is one of the reasons so many people love this show. And here's a little fun fact. It is the number one most requested show by subscription holders here at Shays. Yes. Tickets are on sale right now. Fan of the Opera. It does hit the stage. Opening night is March 18th. But again, this is such a love show that if you want tickets, you better get them soon because they are going fast. In the hour that we've been here, we've they've sold over 200 tickets. So there's a lot to love, there's a lot to learn, and there's a lot to see. But right now, we're going to change gears and toss it back to you, Lauren. Now, you're working on an event here at Shays where you can get some of your Christmas shopping done and see these costumes on display. What can you tell us about it? Hey, that's right. While we are on the subject of Sage, I do want to remind everybody about their fifth annual shopping soiree. It's next Thursday, November 20th. From 5.30 to 8.30, you can enjoy a happy hour and get a jump start on your local, on your shopping for the holidays from dozens and dozens of local vendors. Tickets are $10 in advance or $15 at the door, and the proceeds will go to the Shays Spotlight Committee towards their ongoing restoration work in the theater. And I'm looking forward to emceeing the evening, and I can't wait to see you all there. It should be really, really fun. One week from yesterday. Over in the kitchen right now are Topher